I'm working on a thumbnail for a YouTube video and I've got an issue. I've got this screen capture here of a prompt box and it's just too wide. I don't need all of this space in the middle. I run into the same problem sometimes when I do a screenshot of a web page. If I'm using a wide monitor, the page will widen itself out and just have a lot of blank space that I don't need and doesn't work well for a screenshot. So here's how we fix that in Canva. I'm going to take my screenshot and the first thing I'm going to do is make a copy of it, which I can do by doing a right click and copy and then again right click and paste and now I have a duplicate. I can also, when I had the first one selected, do control C and control V. That's on a PC. I don't know anything about Mac, but control C will copy, control V will paste. And now I have two of these. So what I want to do with the first one, I have it selected, the one on top. I'm going to come up to edit image, I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to go over here just to the left a little bit, and I'm going to click on crop. I'm going to leave the aspect ratio on freeform. I don't need to change anything over here. Now I just want to come back to the image that I'm working on, and I take my mouse over to the right, and if I have this little four-way cross-looking mouse with all the arrows on it, that's not what I need. What I need it to do, when I get here near the edge, It'll still be that four-way cross, but as I move up and I get close to the corners, now I'll get these bi-directional arrows. So I can click there and drag in. And I'm going to keep my mouse up toward the top of this image because if I lower the mouse and come down in a little bit, I'll end up cropping out vertically too, and I don't want to do that. I just want to crop the width. So I'll make sure that I'm holding up near the top. And I'm going to go to right about there. And that looks good. So now I'm just going to come down here and click done. So that's the left side of what's going to be my new image. Then I'm going to click this one on the bottom. And I'm going to come back up and click edit image. Right next to it, crop. Now I'm going to bring my mouse down and I'm going to cut from the left side. So I'm going to go over until I get my little bi-directional arrows there. And then I'm just going to click down with my left mouse button and I'm going to drag it over. And I think right about there will be good. I don't want to crop out any of the text or any of the imagery of it. I just want the white space gone. So I'm going to go maybe right about there. Let's do that. And then we'll come back down and say done. And now I just need to glue these two together now that I've cut out the middle. All right. And it looks like I have a little bit of a space in here, a little bit of a gap. If you hover over, you get the purple bounding box, which covers up that little line gap. So we need to kind of unhover and unselect everything because if I have that selected, I'm not going to see that there's a gap in there. The purple bounding box is covering it. So I need to make sure I don't have either of these two elements selected and I'm not hovering them to see this gap. And it looks to me like I have a gap in there. So what we'll do, I'll just click on one of these. I'm going to click on the one on the right. And then using my keyboard, I'm just going to click the left arrow like one time. And now let's go off of this, click somewhere else, and that looks pretty good to me. So I'll go ahead and select both of these now. I'm going to click the one on the left. I'm going to hold the shift key on my keyboard and click the one on the right. And then you'll see this little pop up here where you can group or duplicate or delete or any of those things. Just hit group there and it groups. Now we'll ungroup because we want to show you something else. If we have these two selected, remember we just click on one, shift key, click on the other and use control G on a PC, control G, and that'll group the two together. And now I have one that is a much better size that I can work with. And so now if I want this to be really big so that it's more visible, I can pop that joker right up and I'm all set. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.